Okay, hello everybody. We're gonna try this again. If you're seeing this on YouTube, post it directly to YouTube. I have not had a post in, I believe, in three years, so bear with me. Uh, as far as the magnetic wheel, I'll get back to that. Um, I'm not gonna get, I don't wanna get this video too long and lengthy right now, um, but this is a second project. I financially became broke when all of my inheritance and all my life savings, etc., was all stolen from me. So, and then I lost my boyhood home on top of it all, so I lost my house. So here nor there, um, not going to get into the details, it's not important. I'm back now, I have been for a little while. Um, just trying to do a post in here to kill two birds with one stone. I have to talk quickly because I need to keep this as short as possible. More so, I'm um, going to try not to use keywords in this video because my video was refused on Facebook. Twice I tried to upload it, twice Facebook refused this video. So I'm remaking this video and maybe with less keywords in it, I'm hoping that it won't get flagged uh, or violate Facebook's community guidelines. Anyway, this here is a metal stand and uh, it's used for um, refrigerator magnets, so it's metal. And it spins around in circles, as you can see. So I've been sticking my magnets to it over the years to, to organize them. Um, these are the workhorse magnets that you've seen in my uh, magnet, magnetic wheel uh, videos. These are one inch by one inch square by quarter of an inch and then the nice cylindrical magnet on top, quarter of an inch. These are M42 and the combination of these two working together is beautiful. I get an enormous amount of torque out of it. And the original wheel model setup I got working, it was working, um, is the one that got my first YouTube video account torn down. And then I did it again on a different account, it got torn down. And then I decided, well, I won't post it up on the third account, and that was Free Magnetic Energy 2. And now I'm putting more videos back up. And I put a video up yesterday out of nearly 10,500 of you all. Only a couple hundred of you at best ever received my video or notice of the video. Uh, so I'm being censored on YouTube as well. Just like that lady was saying that she was being censored. It went in there and created hell on YouTube. It's sad that she ever did that. It really is. She's, there's just no call for that. But here nor there. Um, here's another mag project I was doing here for an upgrade in the Newman Motor technology. I did two videos of it, and I never made the third. I apologize. I'll get around to the third one. Uh, the millions of views on this particular project. Again, my apologies. That's when I lost my home and all my life savings. Um, and cow magnets. They're fun to play with, but they're not very useful uh, unless you're a cow and you're a farmer. Uh, but down here is where my, my daddy magnets are. These are the daddy of, of daddy magnets. They don't get much bigger than this. They get thicker, but they're not much longer. This is four inches. I think you can get these in six inches, but only if it's round, not rectangular. This is four inches by two inches by a half inch thick. Okay? I have many of these, and it's important for the up and coming project for the magnet motor. I mean, not magnet motor. I mean, uh, the magnetic wheel project, which is almost the same thing. Okay, um, here nor there, uh, let's get on with with the other part of this, part two of this video. As you can see, it's just, it just just spins around and around. But that's how I organize my magnets. You have to have a way to organize them. Okay, and now here's my desk. I also have another one here, small one, to stick magnets to while I'm in the middle of making or putting together something. You have to have a place to put your magnets. If you don't, they'll collide with each other. Okay, um, to get on with what's going on here now, what I'm gonna do here from now, because it's within my financial budget to do this, uh, especially considering I had some of this already prior, that we're going to build a, a motor, an electric motor, and this electric motor is going to run in a very unique way. Now remember, I'm trying to avoid keywords here. So the artificial intelligence on YouTube and Facebook doesn't prevent this from being uploaded, especially on Facebook. Uh, I couldn't get it uploaded, just Facebook kept rejecting it. Anyway, so here's what's gonna go on. We're not gonna do anything that hasn't already been done before. This is technology that originates from Tesla, and just a good old fashioned electric motor. Okay, here nor there, all we're gonna do initially is build an electric motor. Okay, and to do so, we will be, we will be doing, if you're following along and you're gonna work with this project, we're going to be having wires wrapped around and around and around and around. Magnet wire. That's your magnet wire there. I'll get into that in a minute. So, 
once you have this wire wrapped around and around and around, then we're also going to build another coil. Now that first coil will be called a pickup coil. It's going to pick up energy. Okay? It doesn't make the motor exactly go around. Okay, and then what we do here is we get one of these and then let's see here what am I doing here? And then we put this in there with some hot glue, glue that together. And then we're going to glue this on top. And then inside here, we're going to put more copper wire in there, magnet wire. Okay, so it's going to be a second coil. Well, we're going to make two of these, not one, two of these little miniature uh, pickup coils. And you'll want to have a little slot right here to let the wire out from the other end come out so you can get the other end out through here without damaging the wire. So what we're going to do here is after this is built, we put one here of this pickup coil on this end and then we'll put another one on the other end over here and because the magnet is only one inch in length we can actually insert it into the tube or pipe on each end okay so that's three coils so we're going to have one coil two coils and then three coils so the wire gets wrapped around this way the front coil is wrapped this way and the back is wrapped that way as well so they're all wrapped and pointed in the same direction. Okay, this is where the fun comes in, or the twist. What we're going to do here is we're going to build a fourth coil. And this fourth coil is going to be built right here on top of this. And it's going to go around this way, vertically, around and around. But it's not going to be any wider than what you see here. Maybe about a quarter of an inch high, maybe something about like that high. I have to experiment. I'm not exactly sure how much is going to be required. We want to use minimal amount as possible to initially establish this so it consumes the least amount of energy to obtain the rotation that we need. Okay, so what's going to happen here is that these three coils are then in turn, their electric, they'll be uh, wired in series, not parallel series, they'll be wired in series. And then later we need amperage and we can convert the voltage to amps. So the three coils will then go over to a capacitor. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using a plate capacitor or a capacitor like one of these here. But this is a tiny one. I need a much, much bigger one. So what's going to happen here is then the, the, the real magic bullet here is the wire. I mean, the magnet that's used. This is a cylindrical magnet. However, the poles are on the side. So one side is north and then the other side is south. This way, when we insert it into here, that each time when we energize this coil here, which we will call the drive coil, it will kick that around one rotation, possibly more. So. This will be timed with what is called a reed switch or a commutator. Whichever way I go, all that matters is that we have to get this timing just right. So when these fields of north and south are in the right position, we energize this with the opposite or like polarity to kick it around. Now, the whole thinking is this, as long as there's no fallacy to my thinking. These three coils on this, one in the front, one in the back, and one wrapped around this, will have greater output than the consumption of this much, much smaller coil that's going to drive it will consume. So if all goes accordingly, the output will be far greater than the input required to energize this coil with each rotation. If indeed this actually consumes less energy than the output, then we should have a surplus. That's a whole nother game changer. So, the surplus can be put into a, a batteries or whatever you need to do. Scaling this thing up so it's like maybe four feet high or the size of a hot water heater. Um, and then of course you'll need many, many batteries, I mean magnets to do this. Much larger of course. Um, then you just drop the hot water heater beside your electrical box and power a house. Anyway, it all sounds good, but We'll have to see if it's really, truly going to work. I believe this will. Um, the other thing, too, is if that the diametrically uh, 
polarized magnet does not work. Then also have another one of these where the poles are on the ends. But I don't believe that will work as well as the ones where the magnet is diametrically magnetized on the sides. Anyway, that's basically it. That's what's going on here. Okay, uh, later when I start getting things together, I'll have another video with greater detail about parts and assembly. But I'm just trying to get whoever wants to get on board, who wants to volunteer their time to put this together and follow along. Because I know other people here are really, really smart. And I'm sure they will probably think of improvements on this that I never thought about. Uh, this here is going to be used for the smaller two pickup coils. This is 24 gauge, 198 feet. It's from BulkWire.com. When I bought this, I got a good deal on it. So shop around, bulk wire may not be your best bargain. So just do price comparisons. Then on this one here, a much bigger reel here, uh, it is 20 gauge, 315 feet. And I'm gonna use this to wrap around this here, okay? So, uh, you know what's also interesting, I've noticed here, is that as crazy as this is, hang on a second, let me, get this down toward the end. I've noticed that this one inch magnet fits in here really nicely. I mean, it still turns. It's not overly tight and it moves in there freely. It's really cool. So maybe at a later date, I can use this and make the motor out of this, which, uh, which the tolerance will be much tighter and the output would be much greater. Here and right there, I'm not gonna do that right away because I'm afraid it might be overly tight. Uh, the tolerances might be too close. Okay, so that's where I'm at here uh, as far as keeping the um, wire on top of this, on top of the uh, motor building. I'll put these rings on the side here. These are metal. If you can, you should avoid all metal parts. Don't use anything metal in your project. None, except the magnet and maybe the axle. But if you can avoid a metal axle, like alum well, aluminum acts like a brake. So don't even use an aluminum axle. Use copper. If you can find a copper axle, then that is the best uh, choice to make. Anyway, there'll be one of these on each side, and that'll hold the wire in the middle. I'm hoping this metal is not going to interfere. If it does, I'll have to rebuild it. Um, everything else here I'll explain at a later date. Um, that's pretty much it. I want to keep this video really short. It's already getting kind of long now. So, that's it. And I'll give some video updates once I start to assemble this. And if all goes accordingly, um, we hopefully will find that this magnet here will indeed go around and around and around and that the output from the three coils is far greater than the consumption of this little tiny thin coil that will go all the way around it. If that actually indeed works to be that way, then we're home free to uh, create in something that um, will definitely be make a lot of homeowners very, very happy. And a lot of other people as well this can be converted to be used in all kinds of technologies across the board. All right, that's it. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, oh well, I tried. And then I'll have to reconfigure this and see if maybe somebody else here as well might have a little bit better configuration to get this working. Again, I'm not doing anything that has not already been established since the 1880s from Nikola Tesla. I'm simply using principles that we already know that work. I'm just using them in an unorthodox way that I don't believe anybody has used or configured before. And if they have, they're not talking. At least I've not run into any such videos. And they don't explain things. They usually don't say anything when you run across really cool videos. They keep their trap shut and the videos are questionable. Anyway, so this is going to be as transparent as I can possibly make it. Alrighty, I'm out here. This is James Wayne Steeders with uh, hopefully a, a working project that some of you will all well, join me and let's get this done and have some fun. Alrighty, that's it. It's all the news that's fit to print for now. Take care and thanks for watching.